One of my favorite things to see when I'm visiting another model railroad is the modeler's personal touch and what they've done to make their railroad more fun. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I'm drinking some Dunkin' Donuts coffee. If you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking and have it featured just like these guys right here below, you can put that in the comments below and who knows, I may put it right up here on the next Coffee and Trains. Cheers guys! There are a lot of things that you can do to make your layout fun. I'm going to break it into two main sections though. Operational fun and silly fun. First, let's talk about operations, beginning with your track plan. If you're in the planning stages of your layout, really think about your turnout placement and how you're going to approach them with a train. A runaround track makes it a lot easier to access turnouts that go in different directions. That way, you can easily position your locomotives to switch out industries. If you don't have space for a runaround track, consider orienting all the turnouts and industries in the same direction so that the locomotive doesn't have to head back to the nearest runaround track in order to switch different industries. Runaround tracks are great for modeling mainline operations too. When trains meet in a block, one has to give way to the other and they will pull off and wait for the other to pass on a siding, then continue on. Another thing to add to your track plan is track that goes off of your layout, simulating a connection to the rest of the rail network. This can be something as simple as a section of track that goes off the edge to a full-blown staging yard. Tracks going off the layout add a ton of realism and operation potential to a layout. Now if you already have a layout built and you're looking to add some operational fun, consider adding some rules to follow while operating. These can be speed limits, right of way, hold points, train meets, rolling stock that must stay at an industry, you name it. These rules up the game factor of operations and make you feel like you're really operating because the real world railroads have to follow rules. You can also add something called a fast clock. A fast clock is literally a fast clock. Model railroads do a lot of scale modeling, but not when it comes to the overall area of a large part of a model railroad. A fast clock is used so that operators can simulate a timetable for running trains without an operation session taking an entire day. This can add a whole other level to your operations by letting you schedule your trains on your layout. Now, if you are not into serious prototypical operations, I have designed a couple of gamified operations methods, and those videos will be linked at the end of this video. So that's the op side of the fun, but what about the silly side? What I'm talking about here is fun scenes and Easter eggs. This is where you let your imagination run wild. Some of the coolest ones I've personally seen include a working HO scale drive-in movie, an HO scale state fair that uses an in-scale train as a carnival ride, and I've even seen a scene with an alien abduction, and a work crew welding rails with actual arc flashes. And these are just a few of the ones that I can name right off the top of my head. These are just fun things to model that may not be for you, but they can add an air of fun and a bit of silliness to an already fun hobby. One thing that I'm considering is that since I show my model railroad on YouTube a lot, working in funny little subscribe Easter eggs into my scenery for you guys to find. I wouldn't make it easy to find them either. You can also add things that are not silly, but fun for people to find on the layout. Woodland Scenics makes a bunch of figure sets, and some of them include things like window shoppers, sports teams, workers at a funeral scene, and a snowball fight, and even people fighting off raccoons from trash cans. There is so much that you can do to make your layout truly unique to you. Your layout is yours, and no matter what you do, make sure that it is fun for you, because that is what's most important. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.